Um, so this is for cervical spinal decompression. This is the um, add-on that you're going to put onto this um, main unit to be able to do cervical decompression. So what you'll do is right here on the front, you uh, take this, push it in, and then down, and then it'll be in. What you'll want to do is lift up this bottom part down here to begin the cervical decompression on the patient. You also want to grab the rope and connect it to the, what should I call this? The hook. Distraction unit. The uh -huh. what? Call it whatever you like. What, I don't know the, not add-on, what is it? The cervical unit. Yep. There's a hook on here that you hook the rope onto. And you want it so that it's taut, but not so much that it slides up like that. You still want it down towards the bottom of this. Okay. Patient. Now the patient come over, slide on the same way. You also want to make sure that you put a towel around the cervical box just because it adds for some extra comfort and support. So you'll have the patient lay down on here and you want the base of their neck to be right in the middle of the box. Do you want to scoot up a little bit? Okay. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, on the side of the sternum unit there are tightening black knobs. You'll want to tighten those up until the patient starts to feel a little bit of a pinch. What you'll probably want to do is um, tighten it enough so that they start to um, feel it pretty tight on their neck and then um, back off. So let me know when it starts to feel pretty tight, like almost too unbearable. Okay. Okay. And then how's about right there? Does it hurt? Okay. You want to have a Kleenex on hand so you can put it on the forehead of the patient. The head harness. Rest right on the forehead, right above the eyebrows. You want it tight enough so that it isn't uncomfortable, but enough so that they aren't going to move. Is that too tight? No, it's good. Is it okay? Um, so once you have them um, all hooked up with this, this therapy is, or this um, decompression is a lot of moving around and just trying to find the sweet spot on the patient. You may have to lift the table up and around, um, change the degree that the rope's at. It takes a lot of that um, moving around just to be able to find the sweet spot for them. It's usually best to put the bolsters under their knees so that they can just relax. Okay, there. Okay, go to the file, gray button, retrieve protocol, cervical, and we're just going to do vax long on her edit. And we're going to start off at all the minimums just to see how she feels. Do you feel it pulling yet? Mm -hmm. Does it feel good? Okay, yeah, Leah, you can stop playing with her hair on camera. <laughs> Nana has pretty hair, everyone. Just so you know. We're editing this bit out. She's ready to give half of her hair away to those who are willing. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, those who so are willing for what? Okay, so um, once it gets up to the max pounds, you want to ask the patient, "How's that feeling? How's it feeling? Good. Good. Does it feel like it's too much of a pull? Does it feel like it's hitting right where you want it? Or would you prefer it a little more? 
it's good. Good. Okay, now they may tell you, oh, it's good, but if you want, you can kind of move the bed around, see how they're feeling. Does it feel better there, moving up, or does it feel better where it was? Where it was. It's right out there. You can also move this up and down better there. No. <laughs> better right there? Yeah. Okay. And then I usually you could increase the poundage just a couple pounds just to see if it feels better that way. That feel better a little more, or did you like it less? Less. So right there's about good. And that's it. Then you just let them be. Um, also, it's really important that at the end of the cycle, whatever patient does, I don't know if our machine is calibrated weird or what it is, but um, when they get to the end, it says zero on the screen for quite a while. Um, make sure that even if it says zero, you may think that that means it's done. It's not quite done yet. Um, it still needs to finish its cycle. Let it go through the whole way until the screen actually pops up and it beeps that says, the patient, the cycle's done, do you want to save this? And then click no, just to make sure that we don't take them off the therapy too soon. Okay. Um, if you ever stop a therapy, it's not going to ask you, do you want to save this, da 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 da. Um, that'll only happen if you let it go through the entire, entire cycle. Um, once you do stop therapy, once the pounds are down to zero, then you're okay to take them off. Okay, go. Okay, the first thing that you want to do when you take the patient off is you want to release the rope.